damaging is this? Well, it's certainly not fatal. Um, I mean, Michael probably, you know, has a few enemies because he's, he's risen very quickly and, you know, there's a lot of jealousy and envy around. I'm afraid I think it's exactly the sort of incompetence that does happen in government departments. Uh, you know, I count myself lucky if I wasn't given uh, a bum list. I mean, I'm afraid there are some people who don't take nearly sufficient care of their work. Um, I remember once in a meeting over a big project saying, which civil servant is responsible for this project? And the civil servants in the room laughed. They couldn't believe I would ask such a question. Who would know and that? eventually one bumbled and said, well, I suppose, <coughs> Secretary of State, I might be. And, of course, the project unless went it badly go, wrong. Unless it goes wrong. Well, it's not leadership to blame your underlings. So I shouldn't. No, so, so don't do that. Michael Gove was right to say that he took responsibility. However, what it shows is that he was cavalier in the way he went about cancelling these projects. Look, one school that he announced had been stopped, it's already been built and David Cameron opened it. Another school has been burnt down in a fire and he's saying he's not going to rebuild it. I mean, that is okay. cavalier arrogance. We're going to get, get uh, this referendum on electoral reform next May. Um, you'll be campaigning for a, a yes vote in this, I assume, yeah. correct? Do you think you'll win it? I think there's always a it's default. It's hard to tell, isn't it's it? Hard to, there's always a default to the status quo in these mm. uh, things, so I think it's, it's hard to win a referendum. Okay. But I think that an opportunity has been missed. The danger is that what the Tories are doing and the Libs is that it brings political reform into disrepute, because actually it's a reform to our Parliament that doesn't sort out the most glaring thing, which is an unelected House of Lords. Okay. I, th I think it will win. You think, yes. you think there will be a yes vote? I think there will be a yes vote, yes. Let's see if you're winning in the race with uh -huh. the, the snail that knows. Well, actually, at the moment, it's between Andy Burnham and...